A man walks into a bar and orders a 21-year-old whiskey. He takes a sip, then immediately spits it out and said, I asked for a 21-year-old. This is only 18 years. I'm not paying for this. Give me a 12-year-old cognac. The bartender serves him, but the man spits it out again and said, This is only 10 years. I'm not paying for this either. The bartender is getting frustrated. After the man rejects several more drinks with the same complaint, the bartender finally pours another one and says, This one's on the house. The man takes a sip and immediately spits it out and said, This tastes like piss. The bartender asked, now tell me, how old am I? <laughs> a gynecologist got bored with his job, but he realized that he had spent many years training with his hands, and he decided he would switch to careers to something else that he could use his hands with. Not wanting the stress of being a medical professional, he decided to attend vocational school to learn to be an automotive mechanic. He worked really hard and studied day and night. When the results of his final exam came in, he was quite perplexed. It showed that he got 150% on the test. The doctor figured this had to be a mistake, so he called his instructor at the vocational school. The doctor, there must be some mistake. It says, I got a 150% on the final exam. Could you explain that? The instructor, well, for the first part of the test, you took apart the car's engine perfectly. That counted for 50 points of your test. Then you went and put the engine back together perfectly. That was another 50 points. The doctor. But those last 50 points? The instructor. Well, that's because none of us have ever seen anyone do it through the muffler before. <laughs> Two women friends run into each other on the street. First one. Oh my god, it's so good to see you. How have you been? The second. Not too bad. Just feeling a little bit under the weather. The first. What's wrong? The second. Oh, it's nothing really, just a sore throat. The first. You know, I actually have a trick for that. Whenever I have a sore throat, I go to my husband and perform a BJ on him and I go down on him hard. It really does help. You should definitely try that. The second. I will. Thanks for the tip. They say goodbyes and go their separate ways. The very next day, they run into each other again. The first. How is your throat? The second. I gotta tell you, your advice actually helped. But when I showed up and told him that you suggested it, your husband shocked. <laughs> a good-looking cowboy is approached by a pretty woman at a bar. Woman. Oh my god, what a big hat you have. Cowboy. I'm from Texas, ma'am, and everything we have is big. Woman. Oh my god, what a big belt buckle you have. Cowboy. I'm from Texas, ma'am, and everything we have is big. Woman. Oh my god, what big cowboy boots you have. Cowboy. I'm from Texas, ma'am, and everything we have is big. After exchanging certain looks, they disappear into the restroom. A few minutes later, they both reappear. Woman, with angry. I thought you said you were from Texas. Cowboy. I am, ma'am, but I didn't realize you were from Texas, too. <laughs> <laughs>